वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल कदम Academy. Friend, under this single degree of freedom, damp pre vibration, I am cover the uh, cover the number of numericals on this mechanical vibration. This numerical I will read. The gun barrel weighing 600 kg. This is the picture for the gun barrel. Of weight of this uh, recoil cannon. Picture of this recoil of this cannon. System. Okay. So what will happen in this gun barrel? Weighing is 600 kg. And recoil spring. It has the recoil mechanism with spring and damper. And that spring stiffness is 3, 4, 5 newton per millimeter. If the barrel recoil 1 meter on firing, barrel will get recoil 1 meter on firing. Find the initial velocity. What is the initial velocity? That we have to find out of this recoil of the gun. Okay, that we have to find out the critical damping coefficient. That we have to find out the which is engaged at the end of the recoil stroke, and assume no energy is lost in the recoil of the barrel. What is the given data? Given data is m is equal to 600 kg. Already we have. Read. This k is the 345 newton per millimeter. We convert into newton per meter. 10 to 3 multiplied by 10 to 3. What we have to find out? This initial velocity we have to find out, and the critical <coughs> damping coefficient we have to find out. How to find out? The step wise we will do it. So we have to first calculate the initial recoil velocity. Okay, of the gun. This gun barrel is there. This we have to find out the initial velocity, recoil velocity for this initial. So for this purpose, what we'll do? The concept of the energy we are using here, the kinetic energy and the this maximum kinetic energy will be potential energy or strain energy. We can say or the strain energy. This both are same. That we are here utilizing. Calculate this. We know this the energy stored. Energy, energy stored. Energy stored at the end of at the end of this recoil. See, this is the picture for this barrel on which the this recoil arrangement is there, and the spring damper is there. It will deflect it or stretch, or the it is given the some deflection of this barrel, so that what will happen? It will store the energy. The energy is stored at the end of this recoil. So that that we have to find out, and that will be equal to the strain energy in the the strain energy. Stored, strain energy stored in the recoil spring. Okay, this is important relation. If we understood this one, energy stored inside this recoil, well, it is deflected. Okay, so what will happen? The strain energy stored inside the spring. That we have to find out. That we can find out. This as a barrel, as this barrel. It is given in the numerical. I will read it again. See, if the barrel recoil one meter recoils one meter on firing, when it will going to fire, it will recoil one meter. So, what is the the barrel recoils one meter deflection? Okay. So, this is the second term. Given data, okay, and this is the first one. Concept is clear to you. Next, I will go. So, what we have to find out for this one meter deflection? We have to find out the the strain energy. How much strain energy stored in this spring? This S E is equal to half K. x square 
so half what is the value of k k is 345 10 raised to 3 into 1 1 is the deflection 1 meter deflection so value in meter so 1 square okay so this value of this uh, strain energy I write here directly by using the calculator I have done it 172500 that will be Newton meter this is the strain energy this is the value of strain energy we are putting now for this relationship by using this relationship we can find out the value of V this V uh, for this what is the we require the kinetic energy the initial but here in this case initial kinetic energy that is K E okay of the barrel this barrel this is the strain energy inside the spring and the initial kinetic energy of the barrel that we have to find out by using the formula K E which is equal to half m v square so friend here abhi kya hota hai to half into m is 600 recoil in what this recoil the recoil system and a mechanism and as there is a no loss in this one so what will happen then in that case this ke becomes equal to this pe or you can say se okay. so this relation is useful to calculate the value of v so how much v so half into into 600 v square which is equal to this is the equation 2 and this is equation 1 this equation 1 to equate 500 okay so this 300 will come on this side so v square is equal to 172 500 upon 300 so v will become what is the value of v here I will write value of P 23.9792 meter per second. Okay, friend, here <coughs> this is in meter per second, okay, not in kilometer per second. So, this is the value of P. What we have found out this initial velocity, this is the initial velocity where this is calculated. Okay, now what we have to find out the second step. Step 2 here we have to find out this initial kinetic energy Ke is half is a barrel this Ke half mv square into is equal to half 600 v square as no loss in energy recoil Ke is equal to Pe and half this is just equation 1 and 2 just put here in this relation we calculated this V. Now the K, uh, this step two. In this case, the step two. What we have to find out? This C. What we have to find out? Critical damping. C C. We have to find out. So how to find out this critical damping for this gun barrel? For this gun barrel, as we know here in this critical damping, the zeta is equal to one. That means C is equal to C C. C is equal to C C. And which is equal to 2 into under root of km that is the relation we already know we know this is the relation as the zeta is equal to this much so what we have to find out the cc cc 
is now we can just put the value in this k k is already given value in this here value of k is given 345 into 10 to 3 newton per meter so 345 into 10 to 3 into 600 that is the weight of this mass of the this mechanism okay barrel this gun barrel weighing that gun barrel the gun barrel that is the mass is there so this value of cc i will write here 28.7749 into 10 raise to 3 newton second per meter then this is the value that we have to find out final value for the critical damping coefficient cc and this is the value of v that we have to find out the here initial velocity initial velocity for the damping so friend this is the numerical this simple numerical is there this was asked maybe asked in examination or for gate examination friend what are the outcomes of this video of mathematical modeling for this all the vibrating system write down three outcomes and friend here you always learn by self assessment only and you have to subscribe my channel Kadam Academy. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe it.